Dawn. This is Scott Cahal Yell here, Group LLC, Hydrogen Technology. It's 11 3 2020. Um, we've made some updates and some refinements to our setup. Uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to run solution into the generator. Right? We're going to then hook up the, the power right through um, this remote switch here, which will then create this hydrogen through the backtrack bubbler. And this is actually a natural gas jet. So we're just going to do a continuous flame test. But the point of all this is to show the generator running right while the solution is being fed into it. But yet, you want to be able to, uh, you want to, be able to modulate it. Like, so what we're going to do is we're going to utilize this switch here, right, which shuts off this ball valve, right, and two over here for the feeds and drains of the generator. So what that's going to do, instead of having the solution running and flowing through it, while the gas is being created going to the back track, it's going it's to seal this off and everything is going to go directly towards our uh, natural gas jet. But, talking about ease of use, and once again, just remember that this whole setup and everything you're looking at, the purpose of it, right, is to make it so you can use multiple generators with ease. And that's the point of all this. But, so, we just put the pumps on, right? And because of the way it's set up, we run like that. The ball valves are in closed position. As of right now, we have not put power to it. But what we're going to do is we're going to open up these valves. And first, you're going to see how the whole system regulates, which will be quite quickly. But, um... Alright, here I guess, uh, Randy, come over here for a second. So all the pumps are on, the gen is taking solution, it's having solution return, right? There's no excess pressure from the solution being, you know, pumped into the gen, as you can see there, right? Um, any excess then comes out through here, which is also where the oxyhydrogen will come out, right, to the backtrack bubbler. Um, this level is controlled by this valve here, which I'm not even touching. This is all self-regulating. I've only hit those switches so far. But let's see what happens when I uh, turn this on. So what we're going to be looking for is activity here, right? Because when I hit this switch, all right, let's see what happens. As expected, that's um, quite a lot. So. Uh, all I have to do is slightly fine tune that and I'm gonna hit it up. Wow, that's a lot, a lot. That's, it's, it's blowing the flame out. Okay, so as you can see here, right, that's from hitting the on button on. So I wanna show them one last thing. Here, uh, step back, right? So because this is all self-regulating and everything's working in sync, we're gonna direct more <laughs> attention to that by shutting off the system, which this would be used in the power station, etc. when you're working on multiple. But yeah, look at that. That is no joke. Alright, now I'm going to reopen yeah, watch it. I'm going to reopen up the system. Here, step back now, Brian. Brian, uh, step back. So I, re I reopened up the system so it's all flushing once again. And yeah, uh, so talking about simple, there you go. All right, next time.